Joe Verzi from Cask and Kettle Homebrew here to show you some cool products for taking your beer on the go. Many of you who dispense at home know that sometimes you fill up a growler or a few bottles to take your beer to an event or to possibly send it to a competition. But sometimes when we're traveling to maybe a party or a gathering, we want to bring more than just a growler. In order to do that, we need to transport our whole keg and that means all of our dispensing equipment along with it. Lugging around a big heavy CO2 tank is not an appealing prospect for anybody. So a couple of companies have come up with some great ideas and solutions for ways to dispense our beer on the go. The first product I want to show you is a simple connection piece that lets us hook up a hard faucet directly to a ball lock or threaded pin lock disconnect. It comes with the faucet collar and the connector piece. We insert the piece into the collar like so thread that onto our faucet, like that, and simply thread that right onto our ball lock or pin lock disconnect. Unlike traditional shanks where there's teeth to mesh, um, we never know exactly how much pressure it's going to take, where this is going to thread down. Every disconnect is slightly different. So this, is, this can freewheel until you get your wrench on it and tighten it down into the exact clocked position you like, just like that. What do we do instead of carrying around a full-size uh, aluminum CO2 tank? One simple solution is a CO2 charger like this. What this does is takes a 16 gram CO2 cartridge, we insert it into the body and thread it on. Once you lock it all the way down, it will puncture the CO2 cartridge, releasing the gas. The gas is held back by a simple valve on top. Let me thread this onto our gas disconnect, just like so and tighten that down. You'll see there's some nice freewheel movement here. So uh, it can take a hit. It's a little more resilient uh, to getting bopped and knocked around when we're on the go. This is going to be sticking out past the keg just a little bit. Once we have that all attached and locked onto our post on our keg, we can simply pull this trigger one, two, three times as much as you need to pressurize the headspace of the keg. Now, when using these, you don't want to hold the trigger down. If you hold it down too long, you'll release all the pressure in the CO2 cartridge. This will overpressurize the headspace in the keg. The first few pints you pull will come out very fast and aggressive, and then they will slow down very, very quickly. And what you'll find is if you do this, you'll end up going through a lot of CO2 cartridges unnecessarily. As you see pints start to slow down, you can pull the trigger once or twice more in quick little bursts just to repressurize the headspace. We're not trying to carbonate the beer at this point, we're just trying to dispense it, we're just trying to push it. If you're like a lot of us, you know that leaving a trigger designed uh, CO2 dispenser like this on your keg at a party where there may be some rowdy people, people uninitiated with your equipment, or well, obviously some drunk people, having something that's with very little control doesn't always work out for us. A great upgrade that'll give you a whole lot more control when you're on the go is this micro CO2 regulator from Keg King. As opposed to the old style, which uses a straight sided CO2 cartridge, this uses a threaded tipped 16 gram CO2 cartridge. The cartridge threads right into the base of the body. And once you reach the final depth, that will crack the CO2 cartridge open. You'll see if you'll feel some resistance around the halfway mark, you want to continue to turn and push all the way through until the CO2 cartridge is punctured. We can take our gas disconnect and thread it onto the body. We have a nice adjustable collar here which lets us set this exactly in the direction we want. And uh, that can be important because we want to obviously keep this as protected while it's attached to the keg as we can. The knob on top here allows us to set the exact amount of CO2 pressure output that we want. And so if uh, we're used to dispensing at home at a higher pressure, usually 8 to 12 pounds per square inch, we can set up to that. Though if we're using something like this shorter connector piece for our faucets, we may want to reduce the amount of pressure we're pushing in the headspace. Pushing with too much pressure when there's no line present in the system could mean that we get very aggressive pores with uh, overactive heading. Here we see our portable dispensing hardware attached to our keg. This compact design allows us to travel much lighter and not have to lug around so much gear. Placing your keg inside of an ice bucket or perhaps even a customized cooler will help keep it cool for many, many hours. If you don't want to lug that around, we also offer these great neoprene double wall 
uh, insulating jackets. So if you have your chilled keg, wrap it up before you go, and this will help keep it cool for a few hours. 